subscribe now. I'm Austin W. Hawkins, and welcome to Austin Hawkins Life. Do not forget to subscribe. For this year, I am going hard on the NFL. I am obsessed with it. Why? Because one, my fantasy team deserves it. What you gonna do? And two, Miami Dolphins are 3-0, and baby. What you gonna do is the name of my fantasy league that I'm in right now, and I'm coming up, boys. Watch out. The Miami Dolphins are 3 and oh, they have a two game lead up on the AFC East, AKA New England. Today's video, this fat washed up athlete is gonna talk about athletes better than him. I'm reviewing the 2018 NFL season up to week three. This season has been something else. The Miami Dolphins are leading the AFC right now at three and oh. I can make a very long video just on that alone, but I will not, so let's continue forward. Number two, I look kind of cute in a baggy white tee with my necklace and my beard showing up. Okay, my real number two, which most people would say would be number one, the Kansas City Chiefs are 3-0 and o right now. They're being led by a rookie quarterback named Patrick Mahomes. You guys remember that amazing season the Denver Broncos had a few years back being led by Peyton Manning? Peyton Manning threw 12 touchdowns in the first three games, and he went on to set the single season record for most touchdowns in season 54. In the first three games, he threw 12 touchdowns. That was the record. Patrick Mahomes, the rookie, has thrown 13 touchdowns. He broke the record. I do not think he's going to follow through and set the single season record, but this rookie broke one of the all-time great quarterbacks records in his first three games. It's insane. Story number three of the AFC. I thought it was impressive enough that the Browns tied the Steelers in week one, but then in primetime football, Tyrod Taylor had a bad game against the Jets. He went down with injury. Baker Mayfield, top draft pick, he came in. He won the game for the Cleveland Browns. The Cleveland Browns last year went 0-16. The year before that, 1-15. It was a huge win. I loved watching the highlights, the crowd reactions, all that was insane. Congratulations to the Cleveland Browns. They look like they could put on a solid run this year. That's what I love about the NFL. You never know what's going to happen. Keep it up, Cleveland. Number four, after week three, the only good thing about the Houston Texans this year is J.J. Watt. Looks like he's coming back. Number five for the AFC, the New England Patriots look like they're done. But I'm a Dolphins fan. We know they can come back go to the NFC. Story number one, LA Rams are number one, as you'd expect, and you know what? I think they're going to keep it up. Todd Gurley, I don't know with him. It's hit or miss, mostly because he caused me a fantasy year. Random video and product plug. Go back, rewatch all my old YouTube videos. I got some good stand-up ones. Watch the most viewed ones. Those are better. NFC story number two, the Buccaneers have the hottest offense in the NFL right now. They're being led by Ryan Fitzpatrick. Oh, if you really look back at the background of Ryan Fitzpatrick, you know he's going to have a couple good first games of the season and then blow it. Now, I was watching the Monday Night Football game of the Tampa Bay Bucks versus Pittsburgh Steelers, and yeah, that's how it went. Don't trust Ryan Fitzpatrick long term. He is a backup. Story number three, the Chicago Bears are doing a lot better than expected. But again, they're the Chicago Bears in a tough division. We'll see what happens. Aaron Rodgers will never let you down three day. Just got blown out by the Bills. Come on. You never know what you're going to get with the NFC. So story four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The worst team in the NFC conference is the Arizona Cardinals, who just today benched Sam Bradford for Jalen Ramsey. We'll see what happens. The second worst team in the NFC right now is the New York Giants. Sucker and Barkley, Odell Beckham, Eli Manning, and they are not doing it. But turn it around. Seriously, I gotta read this off. All the other teams at the bottom of the NFC currently are Detroit Lions, Dallas Cowboys, Atlanta Falcons, Seattle Seahawks, San Francisco 49ers, who just lost Jimmy Garoppolo today, the Minnesota Vikings, and the Green Bay Packers. That's the bottom half of the NFC. All the teams that you'd expect would make the playoffs. This is something else. All those teams can come back, but wow. It's going to be a good season. Not as good as me winning my fantasy league, but still a very good season. After week three of the NFL season 2018, what do you think? Please comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I really appreciate that. If you want more NFL-focused videos, oh, believe me, I could do many. I want to talk about individual players' performances and all of that. And by the way, if you really want to make my day, please click the subscribe button. I would love that. And thank you all so much for putting up with me.